Welcome to the show that teaches you the things your parents and teachers are too afraid to. The Hellius Blog. Today, Kevin Samuels schools these clueless modern women. Let's get into it. The reason she's alone is because she's difficult. Women are not accepting the bare minimum. Women fuck men they respect. All the women who say things like, I'm strong, independent, I don't need no man, like, y'all impress me. Women just gaslight each other and say what they want to hear. Then, yeah, that's a different conversation. I don't want to do that. That's it. Okay, you have a good one, though. Appreciate it. So let's let's put some caveat. See, but, but I guess ultimately what I'm saying, though, is I think many women drastically overestimate their um, their, their their marketplace value. So let me put it this way. Many black people have played uh, dominoes or spades. And see, when you play dom- when you play spades, you cannot go in and talk about, oh, we're going we gonna to get... 12 books. You got to you got to bet reasonably. Uh, you got to mute yourself. Yeah, the irony is that the irony is that they don't bet reasonably, right? They they know how to do it in a game, but they don't know how to do it in real life, arguably the most important game. Because in life, you're taught, you know, to, to do it wrong. And they just believe it. That's what's crazy. Hello, Raven? How are you? How old are you? 27. What do you think about the concept of uh, having to share a man after you're over 35? Okay, sorry, she, uh, we're not hearing her voice, so we're going to move on to the next girl, because she's muted. Okay, let's go, let's go here. Louisiana. Okay, I guarantee you went back to Louisiana, your grandma, your grandmother, and your great-grandmother, they did it. How do you think you get somebody for 30 or 40, 50 years? You from the South. This is where I'm from. This is where this shit comes from. How many people went to Big Mama's, Big Daddy's funeral and met they cut, met, met the whole nother family? Yeah. Women have always had to share men. But like openly, like you know, like yes, people, like my grandma them, knew. Were, because here's the reason I have to share it openly. Because one, if you mismanage your youth to where you get to be in your thirties, that's your problem. So Indeed. women have a problem with men lying. And I'm just telling ladies, get to the point where you got to share a man and you ain't got to lie. Let me tell you what happened. When I used to be a liar, when I started all that shit in college and I was lying to women, it was stressful and it caused a lot of damn problems. When I started being up front with women and said, hey, this is how it is. Guess what? You got the option. Let's just say, um, um, I'm, I'm sorry, Randy. Let's just say Randy's my, um, let's say Randy's my wife. Uh, you would have to get along with Randy. You would like to know, you'd, at least, you'd have to at least know about her if you decide you wanted to deal with me. Or you could choose to deal with somebody who's not me. But you can't have me out to yourself. Can I say something, though? Go ahead. Man, we're talking I, I, about it. I know that that's probably true what you said about, you know, my grandma generation, but mm. we're kind of in a different generation. Yeah, we're in a different generation. We can do it better than the than that generation. Yeah, no you can't. That's the thing that that you people like you, you need to learn is that you can't and won't do better than the than the previous generation. You will do worse. And you just need to accept that. But they won't accept it. That's the thing. They, they they won't accept it. They won't try to accept it. They won't even consider accepting it. Where women feel like, you know, they have the say-so. So. They don't, but they can feel whatever the hell they want to. Yeah. You can feel whatever you want to. How are you going to make that happen? How are you going to make it a reality? I know. 
I just hear what I understand what you're saying. See, the problem is the problem is today women want too much for what you are. Right. Every woman, mostly every woman I meet, thinks there's a prize. They think they're queens. They think they're. You watch my show, and how many women sit here on this program, day in day out, tell you they want to, they deserve a man of value. And there ain't but ten percent of these men available. But uh, yeah, they don't. Ninety nine percent of these girls don't don't deserve a man like that. Hundred percent of women say they want them. All right, if you and I'm talking about a man in that category, a top twenty percent, fifteen percent, ten percent man. Okay. Why do you let's let's flip it? Let's put you as a top ten percent woman, right? Even better, let's put you as a top one percent woman. Why should you sell your, why should you get less? Why should Rihanna be dating a, a taxi cab driver? <laughs> but see, y'all understand it when it's that way. And what's more likely gonna happen? The older you get, you're gonna get more money or less? More on the credit, more on the sexual marketplace credit card or less? Obviously less. Go ahead. So, uh, Randy, what you think about what I just said? I agree with you. Like, I had to kind of learn that the hard way, though. I didn't. I didn't always think like that. Like, I was all about monogamy, but then once I realized that the guys that I were dating always wanted to put me in their side chick category, I kind of started looking for answers on why that was. You know who becomes that's the main chick? When I stumbled across you. you. You know who becomes the main chick? The main chick who understands you're gonna have side chicks. You know where I learned this the most? From educated, beautiful, black women. Professional, educated, beautiful, fit, accomplished, black women. Because you ask them who they were dating and who it is, the pilot, the banker, the this, the that, the da da da. And you know what they said? You know what? There was rules. There was rules, and every one of them got could have married, chose to marry. Man, please, I'm not. And and here's the hardcore reality. I'm gonna take y'all off camera. Camera one. Here's the reality: the women who I've learned this from over years smoke y'all, and then you gonna come through with your average, above average, below average self, and think you gonna get better than what women up here who set the market, get, please. It's not gonna happen. Where in the hell can you go in the store and say, you know what? What your customer pays, I should get, I, 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 work, th I, work, I work down at the, I don't wanna insult the post office, but uh, I work down at the local florist. My business is just as valuable as theirs. Ma'am, she got an Amex Black. She got a black card. Yes. That's a Walmart prepaid card. Yes. We would rather have her business than yours. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, it sounds rude, but it's true. And Randy, I'll be honest with you. More men, if you can understand what I'm saying, the spirit of what I'm saying, you'll have better relationships with men. Because honestly, most men don't want to have to manage all these women. They just want women to know if I chose to. So because I'm coming home monogamously to you, da 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 da, you need to be happy and respect that because it is human nature to where you get comfortable with something, you get contemptuous of it. Comfort breeds contempt. So that's the point. It's not as though all these men want to be having all these relationships. In fact, they want to come home. He's like, like I told that woman the other day, she's like, uh, I start to nitpick, and I'm like, well, when you start to nitpick, the first thing you do is go jump in the shower, take out the shower, get out naked, and look at yourself. You'll stop nitpicking the folks. Let me bring some more folks in here. I'm gonna leave you guys on, but I mean, I'm glad you at least started listening. And uh, Miss Shakira, you know, you don't have to agree. Just listen to the arguments. That's all I'm asking you ladies to do. Listen to the arguments, because uh, I'm not trying to pull a, the, the okie doke on women. I'm trying to get you to understand how men think, yeah. how men yeah, think. I, I did listen, I did listen and I agree, but I was just saying, I don't think women is gonna allow that. And that's why majority, the majority of the majority of What women speaking. won't allow, what women won't allow. Okay, um, so so let's talk about, let's talk, let's talk about it. 
We're talking about women who 74% or more, 74% earn less than $50,000, okay? Right? 74% earn less than $50,000. Meaning when you, um, meaning that when you die, I mean, when you, the meaning you're not gonna have, not have enough to retire on. You're gonna live basically, you're gonna live basically what, paycheck to paycheck? Comfortable. You live in Outback, Applebee's, TGI Fridays, Macy's kind of life, right? Right? That, and that, that sounds fine. I'd rather do that than be, have to share, right? Until you're 60. Until you're 60. Then what happens? At $50,000 when you're 60. Shagira, what do you think? Uh, I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> okay. I don't know. So you know what's going to end up happening? They're going. Then who are they going to live with? Yeah, they are going to be single. Uh-uh. No, no, they can't be single because most won't own a home. Yeah. So when you're aged, who's going to be your care? Who's going to be your network? Other know. women. That's what's going to happen because they don't have a choice. They won't have a choice. Is that, I don't want to be in that boat. I don't want to be in that boat. I didn't ask I about just being in that boat. I'm saying that you say you don't think women are going to accept it. I'm like, okay, yeah. then what are they going to accept? The golden girls? Oh, being, being lonely? That's what they rather be lonely. It, 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 it's beyond being lonely. See, yeah. what I get to people is I start getting to places that women don't even want to think about. They don't even want to think about it. They're like, oh, I don't even want to contemplate that thought. But you got to. You gotta contemplate that thought because you're 32. Are you married? I'm not married. Any children? Um, one, but deceased. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Do you have anybody seriously betting you for marriage? Yeah. Okay. Well, with and that's my ultimate point. Marriage ain't about your happiness or loyalty. It is about practice fucking quality. If six, if seventy four percent of our women earn less than fifty thousand dollars nationwide, and you can't get a man to be loyal to you, then that means you're going to have what? You're going to have to share your space with somebody. Mm-hmm. So are we saying you? So are, are, are we? So not, not speaking for you, but are we thinking that women would actually want to be two hundred some odd pounds, five foot four, three or four women to a house? Indeed. No, I don't think they would want to do that. No, they yeah. start, you know what they start doing? Shit, I'd rather go get that dude to work at the post office because I'd rather live with a man because you ladies, I, I talk to women who date men and women. They have sex with women, but they won't date women. Yeah. And, and one of the things I've heard from these women is dating women has made them understand what men go through. Indeed. So we, y'all go, they gonna share. They gonna share. They gonna they gonna share. They gonna end up being in, in spinster villages. Either way, invest in cat food and, and particle board. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Andy. Thank you, man. Uh, I'm serious, man. Because I, I know a lot of women are like, you know, I don't want to be doing it. I'm not gonna do that. I won't share no man. And see, the funny thing is, I hear a lot of, uh, uh, I hear a lot of uh, influencers. And people, and I'm just going to say a lot of people in the industry, a lot of women in the industry telling women, you ain't got to do this, you got to stop listening to these Generation X women who are in the industry. They make more money than you do, and they have deeper networks. You can't have the life they're talking about. And I guarantee goddamn to you, they don't want to go to your life. I cannot see you in the dark. If you come on in the dark, I'm going to bounce you. Um, but I want you to understand how, oh, you're going to start your camera later? You can't be on there. Um, I want you to understand how little the average woman must think of the average man. Just like, I would rather live alone at 60 some odd years old struggling to pay my bills 
knowing that I got a high school, whatever, whatever it is I got, I don't have the money to live on. And once I reach mandatory retirement age, I, I would rather live with other women who are fat than with you. Indeed. I would rather, I would rather risk dying alone on 50 grand than having to cooperate, compromise with a woman, with a man. I don't, your, your audio is not connected. That's how little so many women think of men. It's like a man has no value outside. If he can't provide a lifestyle to be monogamous. Uh, so I don't know who you are, ma'am, but your, your audio is not connected. So I don't, I keep telling folks that their audio is not connected. Audio. Okay, we're going to skip until here. Yeah. Well, what? But why is it embarrassing? Why is it embarrassing, though? I don't understand. It's embarrassing because the men don't care when the women are fighting over them. They, they, they just let it be. Okay. Give me an example of what, they're fi- what the women are fighting about. Why do you say that? Why say what? They don't need to be fighting like this. Mm-hmm. I'm listening. Well, because you keep saying that women have money and they got they're accomplished. What does that have to do with the men? Well, men don't care about that. Indeed. That is the point. So the men don't care, but then other people, the onlookers, they care about these people' business. You, you mean uh, the onlooking women? The onlooking women? The onlooking women. And yeah. the yeah, so why do you, so so what you what you explain is women need to get your shit together because you don't care about what men men don't care about that and it seems to me y'all are more motivated by the unlooking women. I guess. Where's the man? What's the what is the man doing? You saying the man doesn't care, ma'am. You saying the man doesn't care, and I'm not understanding that. What I'm hearing is one woman is arguing with another woman, and women are watching it. That is true. Okay, what is the man? So what is the man? What should the man do? He should do what? He should do what? So what kind of what what kind of control are we talking about? I mean rules like okay, I'm taking care of her and her, so you don't need to be. I mean these men they don't be honest then. Hold on, hold on, man. I don't understand at all what she's even saying. She's just rambling about dumb crap indirectly, so it's impossible to understand what she's trying to say. Now, now you're starting to talk. Now you're starting to sound like you're full of shit. Oh my. I'm telling you why, because I'm telling you why, because one minute you're saying that these two women are arguing and then women are watching. And then I'm, and you said these men don't care. And I'm like, well, what are the men doing? If these women wouldn't be arguing in public, hold on, listen, I listened to your story. And you said the man needs to sort of form a control. And I'm like, what kind of control? You said rules, rules like what? They know those things. Oh, oh, no, 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 ma'am. There is a wife and then there's a mistress, right? They know those things. See, what you're trying to do is blame men for women's bad behavior. As the phone goes off. When it's ultimately, when it's ultimately, see, it's always the man's fault. If you're the wife and she's the mistress, 
Why are, you, why are you as a wife fighting with a mistress in public? If you're a mistress, why are you fighting with a wife? You know your roles. I'm asking. We're having a conversation. I'm asking. I have a feeling that she's on Kevin Samuels and her friends are texting her what to say. And she's just saying some bull crap. You're still not making any sense. She's the wife. The other one was the mistress. But she doesn't like the mistress. Okay, okay the, wife does, the wife doesn't like to hear it, but the mistress doesn't mind sharing. it. And that's the ultimate point. So the whole notion is, that's what you're really getting to. Y'all don't like this. You just got to deal with it. You know what he could do? He needs to fire his wife and get another one. So y'all can learn when you become the wife, you can get fired. And I guess you wives will start acting better because you've already said she's the wife. You're the highest ranking woman, right? What's that to argue about? But you still said a man should do something. And I'm like, what's he supposed to do? Get some control, how? And also what she's saying is, don't do it. Don't do it so your wife won't feel like she has to argue with the mistress. No, you need to act better. Okay. Are you married? Got it. No, I am. Would you, would, you, would, you, would you be cool with sharing your husband? No. Be honest. Property. The pause says it all. Property. How old are you again? You're at that so age. So what age would that be? A hundred. No. 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 Fifty-five. 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 Are you crazy? Fifty-five. About thirty-five. See, so, and see, this is, this is a perfect conversation. This is a perfect conversation. It's right here. A 32-year-old unmarried woman, and you said, I wouldn't feel comfortable to the mom, tell them 55. No, man. No. Okay. I'm just, but, but, but no, I don't think you do. And that's the thing. Y'all ladies think your value is too high. Do you have any kids? No, I don't have kids. Uh, do you have anybody seriously vetting you for marriage right now? I don't know what a partnership means. What does a partnership mean? We have goals and we are working working towards those goals. Partnership. It's not a marriage anymore. No, we're partners. Disaster. Do you want to be married? No, not anymore. anymore. Is this a male partner? Why does this make more sense than marriage? Because I think because I would have was it, I would been disappointed in my previous relationship, so I said, okay, it's better for me to work towards goals than say, okay, let's get married. So you make the man in your present pay for mistakes in your past. And this is why the, these women argue, because y'all get zip damn crazy. Y'all aren't in y'all's right mind. And y'all expect men to fix this shit. Yeah. And I'm saying this because women today at 32, y'all aren't serious. No, it's true. I'm a partner and I'm sitting there, I'm like, what is this partner and all this, this new age bullshit? Yes. So gentlemen, it's not your fault because they don't know how to act. One was the wife, one was the mistress. You don't want to be married, but you won't be in a partnership. Ma'am, if you're in a partnership, you're gonna be, sh- he's probably fucking somebody else right now. Indeed. You don't got no, you got nothing, you got nothing to say about anybody in the partnership. That's right. 
you have no authority because you're not in an official relationship. It's true. Once you once you are 32 and 55, you're gonna have cats. Because one of the things y'all ladies don't seem to realize is once you age out, you don't go back. You as young as you ever gonna be, and as older you get, the more your value goes down sexually. Sexual marketplace value. So uh, I suggest you think long and hard about what it is, this partnership shit it is. Cause uh, might as well be a baby mama for all that concern. Hello, how are you? Though, something to think about though, appreciate it. <laughs> bye bye now. Good for you though. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Destroyed. I'm all right, how old are you? 32. 32, any children? Again. Yes. All right, would you uh, consider sharing a man? Um, I'm glad you asked that because at this point in time, yes. And no, I wouldn't have a problem with it. Mm. Uh, why, why is it at this point in time? Because I come to um, realize like either you're gonna be willing to sham or you're not either way, a male is gonna do what he wanna do. And as yep. a female, what are you trying to control him? And yep. like, don't get me wrong, every female that I listen to, that's why I got up out my bed and was praying that you- Truer words were never spoken. All right. Hit the like, hit the sub, hit all for notifications, drop me a donation like Hunter M, Adrian Otom, and Bobby Dillon, Restaurants Press, Brian Andrew, and Alan, shout outs to you, most recent purchaser, strategist guide to deduction, thank you. If you want to buy my books, it's a bit of ly slash Helios books. Want to watch my videos in bunches of three or four instead of one per day? You can. I offer early access at my Patreon. That's patreon.com slash the Helios blog. Want to receive better advice than the advice these girls give? Well, I do offer coaching services. I'll do a better job. Promise. Just uh, message me in my email. That's the Helios blog at gmail.com. I'll start you right in. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Especially if you listen to the end, I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.